United States entries arrive for the Winter Olympic Games at St. Moritz. Their Canadian brothers are also on hand. And so are their Canadian sisters, notably Barbara and Scott, women's figure skating champion of the world. Resumed after a lapse of 12 years, the international winter competitions get away to a tempestuous start. The opening ceremonies no more than herald the sporting rivalry between nations than fistfights and shouts of sabotage imperil the future of the Olympics. A cold war developed in the hockey division when two U.S. teams clashed over eligibility. The matches are held despite the fact that the International Olympic Committee refused official recognition. In the opener, Yanks meet Swiss, whose ironclad defense stops a desperate attempt by the visitors to come from behind. And the stateside boys are tripped time after time. But it's a hotly contested match with the Yanks close on the flying heels of the Swiss, who chase the puck in a dazzling rush to the U.S. goal. Despite a flashing finish, the Yanks lose the opener 5-4, but the Olympic torch blazes brightly with the hope that nations will continue to foster friendships through continuing sportsmanship.